Hello everybody, this is me, Clash Kid, and today I am playing Knighthood. I am going to go to the Monster Cave here. During the Monster Cave, you can fight normal, different enemies. So, my first enemy was a level 8 Bloodwing, then a level 14. It goes up from like normal to expert to master. Master is the one that I am on, and you need torches to go in and fight them. So, as you can see on the bottom right, I have 44 torches, so I can go prepare and fight this guy. As you can see, his minions are cult, and he is demon. So I'm going to use my demon stuff, and then I'm going to use a cult hero and a healer. Healers, for me, are always good because I'll always need them. And yes, sometimes when you try to upgrade the materials, you equip them. So, always remember to equip back your best material. Alright, I'm going to go fight. This is the blood wing. And not everyone will have the same guy to fight. It depends on your level and what kind of stuff you have. So, since I'm using a demon sword, I'm just going to go whack, 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 bam. Oh, by the way, when every time you hit with your sword, your attack gets stronger. Cool, right? So, it, so if you hit him once, it's just regular damage. If you hit him twice, you do 25% more damage. Three times, 25% more damage. But if you hit him for four times in a row, you're going to get 50% more damage. I'm just going to try to lower that guy's HP. I don't know if I'll be able to... Now, see? It goes up a little bit. My chain. If you look in the middle of your sc top middle of my screen... You'll see the chain attacks. Watch. Chain start. 25% damage. 25. Well, I didn't get to finish the whole entire ultimate chain. I'll try to do it here, though. So, look. Watch the chain. Chain start. 21, 25%. 25%. And then ultimate chain. And by the way, you have to get his health all the way to the bottom before you can kill him. His house, if his house is all, all gone, like there's nothing left, that means you've won. Or if it just says KO like that. So I'm going to do another battle against him. By the way, you do not start off with this. You're not just like, oh, okay, I have, I have this. I have a monster cave, and I just started the game. No, that's not how it works. You have to travel on the map in order to get to these. So, whack, whack, bam. Okay, that's about mm, two-thirds of his health. So, I don't really mind that the side guys are attacking me. Because if you kill this big guy right here, the side guys will run away. Like they just did. So, I'm just going to keep attacking the guy here in the middle. Whack. Bam. Bam. Bing. That did even more damage because of a critical on your 50%. Doesn't your, I think your critical like doubles your doubles your damage. So on the ultimate chain attack, that means it must be really strong. Alright. Round three. Bam. 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 Okay. Ooh, another two-thirds of his health. So you see, like, my shield is going down on the top left. That's what your armor does. And then I just have my regular HP. I mean, they've done a lot of damage to me, but I'm, if you just kill the big guy in the middle, all of that stuff, like, all of your health and shield comes back when you fight something else the next time. I'm going to keep going till he's pretty much impossible to beat for me. Here he is. Oh, by the way, I haven't seen his ultimate yet. You guys haven't seen his ultimate yet, but his ultimate, he attacks me, 
But when he attacks me, he does damage to himself and he stuns himself. Yeah, that's not a very good ultimate. Because, I mean, if you're going to just attack me... Okay, look, he's going to get his ultimate ready. I'm going to let him do it to me. Because it's absolutely useless. So I'm just going to gauntlet on the side. Attack here. And so, yeah. Oh, he's going to use a dive bomb, right? He dealt 521 damage to himself. I mean, he still did damage to me. And, but look, he stunned himself. So he can't even attack me on the next turn. I mean, he I did lose a lot of health and, like, shield from that. So I am going to recover. That's probably the best thing you can do. And then I'm going to recover. Eh, no, not yet. You can recover more than once. There's n absolutely no problem with that. Now I'm going to get my rage ready just in case. Oh, by the way, if you use Anara to recover, she gives you a like, protection. But only for one turn of their attack. So I'm just going to go whack, whack, rage ready. And then I'm just going to use my sword on it the whole time so that I can not die to his attacks. Oh, uh, yeah, see, look, he's damaging my health i'm gonna hit 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 bam all right now this turn since it's against multiple enemies i'm going to heal i'm going to use my ultimate which is going to do this stun some enemies and it's going to attack everyone bam 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 bam, 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 bam. okay See, it stunned the big guy. Perfect. Now, it's also stunned one of the people in the back. So, I'm just going to use Sola. Sola only attacks the people in the back, which is a good thing for me because I don't want I don't want this to be going like, okay, it attacks the person in the front and then the people in the back just do all the damage. Like, no, that's not what I need. Especially not now. Ooh, he took out all my shield. That's not good. I'm thinking of using my potion here. It's heroism, so it's gonna he it's gonna fully fuel all my heroes. I'm gonna use Sola again, and now I have to heal. I have to. There's no choice really. I don't mind the people on the back right now. All I have to do is now just destroy the main boss. Hopefully, I do not die to their attacks with this. Okay. Whack, 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 whack. Okay. If they don't kill me with this, I'm going to be fine. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. No, 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 no. Oh, no. <gasps> Look at my health. Oh, my gosh. I am so happy. Yes, I just won with the least amount of health ever. Oh, yeah. Ooh, not only. I also got a quest completed, too. And since I've had really low health against this guy, I don't think I'm going to be able to fight him again. So, ooh, 30 volcanic bars. Volcanic bars can help you upgrade your weapon if they are rank 2. There is also a shrine of heroes that you get. You can get the hero's XP and sometimes you can get some extra rewards from it. Like I'm upgrading this person. He's going to get some XP. He's close. They don't doesn't always make him level up. But you can get... See, look. Lesser Elixir of Heroism. So I'm going to claim all. And I'm getting this guy 640 XP. Look. Ding. He didn't level him up. And it did level this person up though. It's pretty much a 50-50 chance. It matters how much XP your hero already has. Whoa, that is a lot. That is a lot of XP there. It's going to level up twice. That can happen too. And now I'm going to get Taurian bars are good for healing your... What's it called? Healing your... No, not healing. Upgrading your um, your armor. Ooh, whoa. That is a lot of XP. Wow. Also, I claimed... I just finished a guild quest for doing this. And I'm going to get more of these. Collect. He's going to level up twice. Yep. 
And that's all of them so far. So I'm going to go out. Going to go back. Daily, if I go to guild, this gives your guild enough points to attack your... To, to spawn a guild boss, and it gives the guild XP. That is the end of the video. Please like and subscribe if you want more videos. And also, please join the our clan. It is called the Dark Jedi. Anyway, hope to see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and put on the post notifications if you want more. And I hope you learned something too. Goodbye!